Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nav. Today we'll be talking about CBT P exams. CBT is here and there is no turning back to pencil and paper tests. Today I will touch on few aspects of this new CBT test and will try to help you understand the format and also explain what the buzz is all about. Just a reminder. I will be posting more tips and tricks related to PE exam in the future, so please subscribe to my channel. Now I will start this video with the new PE Civil Reference Handbook. The first thing is how do I download this handbook? To download, we'll go to our NCIS dashboard, go to the useful documents section and click on this view reference handbooks. Then you can see there is a list of handbooks and you can download uh, whichever you want to for this particular video i'm i'm explaining civil reference handbook 1.1 uh, just uh, to be clear 1.1 is the version of this handbook so this is the first edition of the civil reference handbook if you look into the left side of this pdf there is a table of content and there are six sections in this reference handbook the first section is the general engineering section the second part is construction which contains artwork construction and layout estimating quantities and cost construction operations and methods scheduling material quality control and production health and safety the third part is geotechnical part which contains lateral earth pressures, cons consolidation, effective and total stresses, bearing capacity, foundation settlement, slope stability, soil classification, material test methods, compaction, trench and excavation, construction safety, ground improvements, geosynthetics, groundwater and seepage, problematic soil and rock condition, earth retention and pavements. So as you can see, the geotechnical portion is the most descriptive portion in the civil reference handbook. So for people taking the uh, PE uh, geotechnical exam, it will be very much helpful for them for the depth portion. The fourth part of this reference handbook is the structural and it just has three sections i'm really disappointed with this uh, reference handbook i hope they will add more sections in the future um, but for now we just have structural analysis steel design and concrete design the fifth section is the transportation and it contains traffic engineering horizontal design vertical design signal design geotechnical and pavement and the last section is the water resources and environmental it has fluid mechanics hydraulics closed conduit flow and pumps open channel flow hydrology groundwater and wells water quality wastewater collection and treatment drinking water distribution and treatment it has nine topics within the water resources so i will say the geotechnical and water resources dominate the content of the civil reference handbook if you go to the NCIS website click on the download NCIS examining guide you can click on the right that says NCIS examining guide and for civil all modules are CBT so this PDF here explains everything that you need to know about the computer-based exams the contact person you know how to register for a computer-based exam um exam fees on day testing events you know everything about the exams um this is the section in this ensis examine guide that talks about the requirements for different boards that is the state wise requirement is different based on different states so make sure you meet all the requirements to take the ensis exam if you are planning to take for a certain board um, to review that just click on ancestor.org slash board 
Now I will tell you some tips and tricks that will help you a lot to transition towards this CBT test. If you are somebody who was very familiar with pencil and paper test and is little shy to take the CBT test, I want to say that I can feel you, honestly. But overall, I think it will be easier than before. And hopefully these seven tips help you all uh, in this journey. So let's start. The first thing that you should remember is to keep checking the MCC account for updated handbook. As I mentioned earlier, the sections, not all the sections in the civil reference handbook are complete. They will probably add some more for the structural, even for the transportation portion. Um, so the introduction portion of the civil reference handbook mentions that NCIS will periodically revise and update the handbook and each PE civil exam will be administered using the updated version. So make sure you are using the most up-to-date handbook uh, while practicing and just be familiar with the updated version. The second thing that you should remember is when you prepare for the test, don't print a hard copy of the handbook and codes, rather navigate through the PDFs. And the civil reference manual uh, says, you will not be allowed to bring your personal copy of the PE civil reference handbook in the exam room. Instead, the computer-based exam will include a PDF version of the handbook for your use. No printed copies of the handbook will be allowed in the exam room. And now you may be thinking, what about the design standards and codes? Uh, so if there is a design code and standard that's listed on ANSYS exam materials guide, then they will all be available to you uh, on your computer. If you want to know what um, exam specifications or design standards will be available in your exam, Click on the civil structural or civil construction or geotechnical, whatever you are preparing for. Uh, for now, I'll just take civil structural as example. And this is the ANSYS principles and practice of engineering examinations, uh, structural exam specifications. So if you go at the bottom, these are the course design standards that will be available on screen for this structural test. The third point you should remember is when you plan on taking online courses for test preparation, make sure the intended platform has PE mock exam tests like the ANSYS CBT exam. This will help you become familiar with the charts, formulas, tables, and other reference information provided during the actual test. Other supplied exam materials, in addition to PE Civil Reference Handbook, the exam will include searchable PDF versions of codes and standards. A list of the materials that will be included in your exam is shown on the exam specifications. I've already shown you where to get the exam specifications and find out which codes will be available to you. So any additional materials required for the solution of a particular exam question will be included in the question itself if it's not on screen. Uh, design standard or code. Um, the fifth point that you should remember is for exam related questions, always go to NCS homepage. Um, if you have any questions, just email them or call them just to make sure you understand all the criteria they have set forth for the CBT test. And just don't uh, take a word from a third party because the, the, this is a new exam and it will keep updated. So uh, make sure. Uh, you visit NCIS homepage for updates on everything exam related and including the specifications, you know, exam day policies, scoring and practice tests. The sixth point is the PDF version of this PE civil reference handbook that you use may look slightly different. Um, the civil reference handbook does mention that the PDF version that will be available on the exam day will be very similar uh, to the one that's in the ANSYS homepage. Uh, but there's a chance that there may not be all the pages of that handbook because they may remove some pages like cover page or introductory material 
and some sections of the handbook that may not be needed for solving the problems in the PE test. Um, so yeah, it may look a little bit different, but it will be similar. The seventh point is only ANSYS will provide the most up-to-date information about the test and test materials. So always go to ANSYS.org. Um, there is a CBT demo about the different types of questions that may be in the exam and also how your computer screen will look like um, during the exams. If you go to ANSYS.org, exams, exam preparation materials, the third section, there is a CBT demo. If you click on this, it will take you to the test format. Click the next button. Next, click next to continue. Yeah, so you can go through this and, you know, be familiar. So thank you for watching this video. Hope this video helps you prepare for the new CBTP exam. Just a reminder, I will be posting tips and tricks related to PE exam in the future. So please subscribe to my channel. Also look at the description below for all the links mentioned in the video.